Hello everyone, it's Diane, and I just got home from the flea market. Um, and I did get some slides, for those of you who wanted slides. But, let me show you what else I got. I didn't bring home as much as I normally do, but it's still pretty decent. Um, first, I'll just show you these items came from the four for a dollar booth. I found this Candyland board game, which is in pretty rough shape, but look how vintage it is. This is not the Candyland that I played with when I was a child, so it's older than that. And I folded it like this because it's already almost torn in two. So I believe this is older than than the what I played with. So I thought that would make a really cute um, book cover, or probably two book covers. So because they're four for a dollar, I grabbed these because I can make some more TN journals with these retro book covers. There's a Dangerous Summer and a spar Star Spangled Summer. <laughs> and I got this for a dollar because it's just a blank address book, so I can use those pages. I thought this would make nice pages in um, journals. It's hand lettering, so it's just got a lot of examples of lettering. So I thought that was really cool. I'll try copy dyeing some of these pages. This is really fun. I got... Um, Mrs. Cog's, the chocolate digital kit that she has, because, well, I do like chocolate, but I didn't use it yet, but when I saw this book cover, I know what I'm going to do with this book. Isn't that awesome? It's got chocolate all over it, and on the back, too, and I might just keep this one for myself. If you haven't seen Mrs. Cog's chocolate kit, I'm going to I'm going to link her shop below or maybe I'll just link that listing below because it's a really cool looking kit and um yeah. So this is going to be a chocolate book. Woohoo. And this is a really pretty book. The Little Nature Library Butterflies Worth Knowing. Look at that cover strawberries and butterflies and there are some color plates in there so I will make a nature journal or even just a butterfly journal and include these color plates in the journal but this will be the cover I'm putting all the books on the floor as I show them so that I can talk to you about this thing that they're sitting on then I got a couple more um, craft books for domestic arts journals. I like the ones that have the picture right on the on the hardcover, not just on the dust jacket. So this can be a Christmas domestic art. So I have a few Christmas craft books that I need to um, think about making um, Christmas domestic arts journals with. And then there was this one. It doesn't have the printed front, but I liked the the pages are quite nice and it's a thick book so I might just be able to use it like this uh, I don't know my domestic arts journals have a fatter spine than that so anyway I do like this so I might mod podge it onto the front <clears throat> and for children's books I got this little my first picture book of Christmas carols it's a junior elf book And Little Lamb's Hat. Really cute. And Never Pat a Bear. This is, I don't know if I've ever seen this little golden book. It's a book about signs. It was only a dollar. There are quite a few golden books there at this flea market, but they want more money than I want to pay for a book I'm going to take apart. So this was only a dollar, so I got this. It doesn't look extremely old. 1971, so that's old enough, but I, I do like these 70s images. And then this one was also a dollar, and it's called My Home. 
1979. So this has some really nice watercolor type pictures, I think. And I got two binders. This one, I don't know if I'll actually use the binder. I might, I don't, but I don't know. It's one with the D-ring binders and it lays flat and it's three rings. But what I got it for was these cards, the pages folded out, fold out. So I've been wanting some of those and now I have some. And the other binder is something I've never seen before. It is just a blue cloth binder and it's smaller than the other cookbook binders, but that's what it is. Better Homes and Gardens Lifetime Cookbook. Now I don't know, I think that they took this, maybe the binder fell apart because this just says Sterling Loose Leaf Book. So I think they took this out of their binder and put it in this one. But I love the pages. They made new tabs, which are really cool. And they added old notebook pages. I don't even know if there's any pictures in here, but there's lines on the back of, you can look at all the aging around the edge. I think I'm going to have to do this video in two parts just because my battery is flashing and I don't want it to cut off on me. I was hoping to do it all in one part this time. And there are recipes taped onto the extra pages that they put in. The back is just full of the extra vintage notebook paper. So I thought that was pretty cool. I think it was $3. All right, so that was the books, and I'll just talk about this before I start another uh, portion of a video. This is a chenille bedspread. Look how nice that is. Pink and white, puffy chenille bedspread. Here's the back. Hmm, it doesn't look like the back part that I looked at earlier here. This is what I looked at earlier, but it said it was damaged. So I, this must be the damaged part. Yeah. So there's holes in it right here. So they only charged $6 for this. So there's quite a bit of damage on that. But there's enough that I can cut this up and put some pieces of this in my shop. Okay, so since my battery light is flashing and I have some textiles and just a few miscellaneous things to show you, I am going to get a new battery and start a new video. I'll be right back.